hi everyone welcome back to my channel the art i hope you all are well so let's start today's video so i'm making something different again here and this is this time it's snail so uh, this has been again i want to say that it's a long due project that was ongoing and i have so many projects ahead of it so this was getting delayed but now it's a good excuse as halloween is approaching and this is really perfect for that subject and plus uh, during the halloween you have uh, excuse to create the uh, craziness in your mind and that's totally all right so what i'm doing here is i'm not making a simple snail here i am at the moment as you can see filling up the, the snail shell portion and with a bubble wrap because i am pouring my polyurethane resin that i will be using to making the base of the snail uh, you can say the body of the snail but i don't want the shell here to be made so i am filling it up with the uh, bubble wrap as much as I can so again it's an experiment and I hope and fingers crossed that it do comes out as I am planning it so try I'm filling up the uh, snail part as much as possible because I don't want my resin to go inside over there When I have done filling the bubble wrap into the snail shell, after that I added this silicon sheet in between. So this is how I done it. After that I poured my uh, my resin so that this work as a barrier and then I uh, and also I get a clear finish instead of the bubble wrap just uh, sticking inside the resin and that is really difficult to remove. So this is something that I did before adding the resin. So here I'm pouring my polyurethane resin and so I'm just simply pouring resin. it and I leave this to cure. So a mishap happened and I didn't knew that my camera wasn't recording so most of the snail is out of the mold but I'm happy that it worked and I pulled the snail out and the body was perfect the way I wanted although there was some of the part you can see on the side it has uh, didn't it didn't made itself but still it's all right so let's start so on to the second step and this is a mold that i actually used to fill up with my leftover resin if i have any black left leftover resin so it is a skull mold so similarly i have made many skulls like this so this one is a black one so so you will know in a minute that what i will be doing here so this is my black skull and similarly i have made this white skull and to this white skull i added a hint of brown oil paint and then i wiped it off so to give it an aged effect so now i will be showing you what i will be doing here so there is some correction to i have to do with my skull so that's i'm doing so this is how i did the effect it's a brown oil paint and i just dusted onto the areas that were not highlighted so you can see these are all made with from leftover raisins so here we go and this is my the black skull and this is something i was thinking of doing so initially i was thinking of doing a black skull on a black snail but then i saw this white one and i did give it an age effect and so this was setting up really perfectly and so i think this is the one that will be that I will be making so now I am just positioning my skull on how I will be attaching it to the space of the snail so I'm happy about it and now it's time to attach it so for doing that I need my epoxy sculpt so this is the epoxy sculpt and it's a two part a dry clay and it dries to rock hard so you need to take equal parts of this clay you need to mix it until it's it turn into black color and now for correcting uh, the space that i was telling you about uh, i'm putting up some foil here just to level everything up And here I'm putting up the skull to see if it's 
all leveled up. And now I will be using my Gorilla Glue to attach the foil to the base here. And now I'm putting up the foil. And after putting up the foil, I will be putting the clay onto the foil because in this way I uh, can use less of the clay and the foil is helping to fill up the space. And after that, I put the skull again to see if it's done properly. And then I added some more uh, glue and on the glue I added the clay and now I'm just pressing my skull on. And now with the dotting tool I am putting up a texture into the clay so that it do uh, merge itself with the snail body. So this is now the detail work. So again I'm doing the texture here similar to the body of the snail and then just mixing it with the base of the uh, snail so there is some negative space underneath the skull so I'm filling it with some foil just to make it a bit stronger that it's not hollow and then I will be covering it with the area with the clay so oh, everything will be closed now So after doing that, I leave the snail to dry, the clay to dry, so see you next day. So this is the next day and today I was uh, going to add the details. So initially, I, again, I was thinking of adding this uh, fossil effect onto the side of the skull, but uh, this was not working. So I had to remove this idea and then change it to something else. And now with my air dry clay, I will be making mushrooms. So uh, now I will be putting up the Gorilla Glue onto the uh, base of the skull and now I'm making the mushrooms. So this is the part where I'm going to sculpt or the mushrooms onto the skull here. Taking the mushroom to a very sort of forest, deep forest skull. So this is just an imagination. You can take it to whatever level you like. So I will be just sculpting few of the mushrooms in front of you then I will be speed up the process because it's going to take a longer long time. So I removed my glove because they were not helping me and I was getting difficulty in creating the mushroom. So simply you just attach it with the base and then you create and sculpt the mushroom. And with my help of my sculpting tool, I will be sculpting the mushrooms so that they, they will be like this. So I am just speeding up the process and you just enjoy it.
so after making some mushrooms i uh, thought to make some different styles as well so this is sort of a foam clay and it dries really uh, lightweight and i just divided it into two sticks and now i will be making the top part of the mushroom just simply press in between your hands and i'm just making a simple sort of mushroom no detailing here i thought to add the gills then i thought it's it will take so long so i'm just making simple mushrooms with very less details So these are the caps to which I will be putting up these and I will be adding a little bit of Gorilla Glue inside so they secure really well. So I just showed you the other ones and now I am doing the mushrooms on the other side of the skull. So they are really the same way that I did on the other side, putting on my glue and then sculpting it. So sometimes I do get comments that uh, the things are really pretty but they do take, take a long time to make. So yes, uh, that is really true that when you are making something unique, you uh, it do take them some time and your mind and your ideas. So yes it is so in this uh, way this skull took me so long to make uh, i am showing you here just a quick process and it i don't know it might take me more it took me more than a month to just proceed with this skull and thinking to what to add what not to add so there was a lot of detail that went into this yet i think this is simple so I did the second side and you can see I made the other mushrooms as well. So I will leave these to dry. So this is uh, around 3-4 days. The mushrooms are all dried up and everything is dried. Now I am doing the aging process with the mushrooms. Adding some colors to them. So this is the oil paint that I use to give an age effect. So I'm actually selecting the mushroom because there are a few other projects that I'm using mushrooms on. So I'm selecting the one that I made for this one. So here they are all sorted and now I'm taking the uh, snail back here and it's all dried. And with the help of a brush I will be adding the paint to the mushrooms a little bit carefully to give it the age effect. So I will be doing this to, the, the, to these mushroom and the other one that you see here. So in between I was thinking of buying some molds for making mushrooms uh, so that I it, uh, it takes less time but then I thought why not sculpt them myself and save some money although I think it's really really difficult when you are a resin artist but then I just wanted to make them myself and when I applied all the paint to the all the mushrooms and now with a wet wipe I will be wiping the excess paint and then you will see the effect coming out. So you can see as I'm wiping it, the mushrooms are giving the effect here. So this was something that I couldn't get from the molds than if I had made from the mushroom from the molds. So after wiping all the mushrooms, the another thing that i will be adding to my skull here is i'm going to show you in a minute now is this real moss that is it's a real moss but again it's preserved so you can buy this from amazon ebay many other websites so i will be taking out the amount that i need for um, attaching it to my skull 
So now comes the detail work and now I'm using glue here. You can use UV resin as well. So I'm putting glue to the places where I will be attaching the moss to the skull. So this is something really up to you, whatever you like to do here. You can leave it with mushrooms as well. You can add crystals, you can add gemstones. So this is sky is the limit and there is so many uh, ideas that you can do with this nail base. I will be probably doing a few more I have in my mind. So this was just the startup of this. Because I really didn't want to go with the simple snail that uh, was uh, already been made. I wanted to do something really different here so this is this is my take on making this snail and there are a few more that i'm really excited about and as soon as i added this green uh, moss to the skull it's it's giving such a beautiful lively effect it's like it's came from the deep deep forest So again, I will be speeding up the process so you just see and enjoy it. So these are my small crystal clusters that I made and they come handy always when I'm making these stuff. So I do pour my extra resin into these molds also. So now with the heat gun I think it's working really fast and for these mushrooms that you see that I sculpted on the, uh, the extras I need something more. So I'm using heat gun so that they get secure in a position where I want it. And I'm taking up the mushrooms and putting up them where they look suitable. So doing working with the heat gun was really fast. I think I had to, to use it before. So and so here I'm adding all the details I can. And the crystals are being added here. They give such a beautiful extra touch. And trust me, this was really the fun part. I really enjoyed making it when I added this moss. Uh, I know the idea from the beginning was really excitement, is exciting for me. But this was so fun. I was really enjoying it. Resin is such a versatile medium. As I always say, you can make smaller things. You can make bigger things. You can make art projects that I can see. I see that artists do make. They are really famous artists. So yeah, it's really up to you how you take your resin here. So it's really, really almost done now because I really don't want to do anything else to it.
So almost done and let's see the final look. So this is the final look of the mushroom hair and if you can see I added a tiny detail to the snail. If you can see that because I, I really wanted to add it. So if you know me you know already what I did to this snail and what is my favorite part but I just let you know that yes 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 I added a gold foil hair tiny bit to the base of the snail hair because it was looking so amazing and you know I couldn't resist I wanted to add it and that was just a little bit of it just a hint of it and otherwise the snail is really simple and that crystal you can see I made from raisin they are really pretty perfect everything is done here it's really a natural snail came all the way from the deep forests so this was really a fun project and there will be many more coming like this regard making the same way i will be doing different snails so so i hope you liked it and if you did please do let me know and make these during the halloween and they are really fun you don't have to do so much detail you can add skull to the snail that's it or you can add pumpkins you can add there is so much you can do with this so this is really a pretty decoration for your halloween and my friends from oddities and curiosities they like to collect stuff like this so this is a perfect thing to add to your collection also again thank you so much and if you did like it please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.